So let's solve this problem. That is problem number one. So here we have two objects. This is object one, object two, and this is the boundary condition. These objects are resting on surface like this. And there is a cable that is holding the object W1 to its position. Now in the problem it is said that there is a force F which is pulling the object W2 forcing it to move with an acceleration A. Okay. So let's write the given data. So in the problem it is given that W1 is equal to 10 Newton. Similarly mu1 that is the friction between object W1 and W2 is 0.18. W2 is equal to 30 Newton and mu2 is equal to 0.2 and the acceleration of the object is given as 2 meter per second square which is basically the acceleration of object W2 and we are asked to calculate the force F that need to be applied so that object W2 will be moving with an acceleration 2 meter per second square. So let's see how to solve this one. So this is basically a problem where we need to use the dynamic equilibrium condition because the object W2 is in a motion with an acceleration. So we are going to use the DLM burst principle which we already know sigma fi is equal to mai okay so that's what we are going to use here now whenever we get such a problem the best tool what we have is the free body diagram that is the graphical tool which can be used to solve complex problems like this and when we are going to start drawing the free body diagrams the first primary thing that we should consider is that we should be plotting the diagram of that object whose movement can be predicted. Whenever there is friction, the direction of the frictional force is opposing the direction of motion. So we should be very careful to draw the object whose movement can be predicted. Here the force F is acting on W2 so we can directly tell that this point the, this object W2 is going to move to the left and the frictional forces that is in contact which means this part and this part will be having frictional forces to the right. So first let's plot the free body diagram of W2. So that's our starting point. So we are going to plot the free body diagram. I'm going to start with the free body diagram of W2. So when we are plotting the free body diagram of W2, we have an object, okay, which is W2, and we have different forces. Whenever we plot a free body diagram, we need to show all the forces. The weight of W2 is 30 Newton, so 30 Newton is acting at the center of mass. And as this object is in contact with two surfaces, one is with the ground. So I will be having a reaction. I am naming it as N2 and there is contact here also. So I will be having a reaction here also which is N1. Okay. Now I need to represent other forces, other known forces. There is a force F. Okay. <coughs> And there will be the frictional forces. This object is trying to move to the left. So frictional forces will be between the surfaces in contact. One is here, other surface in contact is here. And we know that frictional force is proportional to the normal reaction. That is mu2 n2 and mu1 n1. So that is the free body diagram of W2. Similarly, now let's try the free body diagram of W1. So W1 
is also a block like this and the mass of the block is ma not mass the weight is 10 newton and there is a cable okay we have a cable holding the mass or holding the object which will be under tension we can see that when this w2 moves to the left it will try to pull w1 along with it but this cable will restrict the motion hence the cable will be under tension and i'm marking the tension as t and this w1 <coughs> this w1 is in contact with w2 so in that contact surface i will be having a normal reaction this normal reaction i have already given a name n1 in the first figure so here also it should be n1 now we need to represent the frictional force okay frictional force happening in this contact surface this w1 is in contact with w2 we know that the frictional force in w2 is to the right so the common surface in contact will be having a frictional force in this direction okay this direction of the frictional force is the confusing part that's why i particularly told that draw the frictional force first for the object we can predict correctly then just put the opposite sign here n1 is downward so here n1 is upward here n1 is to the right so here uh, sorry mu1 n1 is to the right so here mu1 n1 is to the left okay this is how we plot the free body diagram we have already discussed this in previous problems now let's see how to solve this so when we consider these two here there are many unknowns n1 is an unknown f is an unknown n2 is an unknown so basically there are three unknowns and when we consider one object two unknowns are the better way to solve here we forgot to mention the acceleration the force is to the left and the object will be having an acceleration in this direction okay this arrow i put so that this we will understand that this is an acceleration which is having a direction because it is a vector and it is moving in the leftward direction which is the direction of force so we are going to start solving it by considering the w1 object that is free body diagram of w1 so when we consider w1 this object is it in a state of rest right it is not moving at all because when this w2 is trying to move to the right sorry move to the left this object w1 also wants to move to the left but this cable is making it stay at its original position okay so this particular object is at rest hence the static equilibrium conditions are perfectly valid for this object so the static equilibrium condition we know that sigma fx sigma fy and sigma m equal to zero so i am using the sigma fy equal to zero condition okay so i am considering this as direction y and this as the positive one upward is positive which means n1 upward 10 downward no other forces which basically tells me that n1 is equal to 10 newton similarly i am applying sigma fx equal to 0 so i am considering this as the x positive x so to the right is positive t minus mu1 n1 equal to 0 t is the mu1 n1 is the no other horizontal forces so which basically gives me t equal to mu1 n1 n1 i already got as 10 mu1 is given as 0.18 so t is equal to 1.8 newton that is the tension in this cable if it is it's not asked in this particular problem but if we want to calculate it this is how we calculate the tension in the cable now we need to think about this part okay so we are going to consider the free body diagram of w2 now this w2 is in dynamic equilibrium okay when we consider the direction horizontal direction that is in the direction of f it is in dynamic equilibrium and what about this direction vertical direction 
in the vertical direction this object is not moving in the vertical direction which means that in the vertical direction the object is in static equilibrium which means that I can simply write sigma fy equal to 0 in the vertical direction okay now when I write sigma fy equal to 0 in the vertical direction what will I get I will be getting I'm considering the y this as the positive condition upward is positive so n2 minus 30 minus n1 equal to 0 which basically means that n2 equal to 30 plus n1 where n1 is 10 I will be getting this as 40 Newton I have the value of n2 now I can try solving the f value f is in the x direction if I'm considering y as this f is in the x direction okay so I'm considering the x case and I'm considering the left as positive in one same problem we can consider x as because when I'm considering w1 I consider right as positive now I'm, when I'm considering w2 I consider left as positive it is perfectly valid it is our choice but in a single condition we should not consider right and left as positive for this case I consider right as positive for this case I consider left as positive even if I consider right as positive I'm going to get the correct answer it is the user's choice okay I'm going with this sign convention so here in the x direction the object is in motion so it's not static equilibrium it is dynamic equilibrium that is I need to apply this condition so let's try this sigma fy net force in the considered direction x direction so I'll be getting f to the left then minus mu1 n1 to the right left is positive so right is negative similarly mu2 n2 it is also to the right so I got the net force I need to equate it to m times ai mass of the object weight is 30 which means mass is 30 by g or 9.81 and the acceleration is 2 meter per second square and it is also to the left which is in the positive direction so it is positive 2 so when I substitute the different values I will be getting f equal to mu1 is 0.18 n1 is 10 okay I took it to the right hand side plus mu2 n2 when I take it to the right hand side it becomes plus mu2 is 0.2 n2 I got it as 40 and then 30 by 9.81 into 2 when I calculate this I'm going to get 15.92 Newton which is the final answer expected for this problem.